<laughs> Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, is belief in God like belief in Santa Claus? This is a very old argument for atheism, and unfortunately there's a lot of information that it ignores or dismisses. For instance, the two beliefs are very different in terms of how they work, how they play out, and who believes them. Belief in God gives meaning and purpose to human existence and makes moral claims substantive. Belief in Santa Claus does none of these things. Belief in God can be hard and demanding, requiring sacrifice and determination to continue believing. Belief in Santa Claus is more whimsical and entertaining, with nothing really at stake if you stop believing. Santa Claus is usually believed in mostly by the very young, who outgrow the belief as they grow older. If anything, the tendency to believe in God increases with age and experience. However, the biggest problem with this argument, and the real reason why it doesn't work, is that it seems to think our reason to not believe in Santa Claus is that there isn't enough evidence to support his existence, and that's not true at all. The reason why we don't believe in Santa Claus isn't because there's no reason to believe that he exists. It's because we have good reasons to believe that he doesn't exist. We've never seen him. We know his North Pole workshop isn't there when it should be visible, and so on. There are many other things like this where our lack of belief in them is due to not being able to find evidence that should be there if they exist. We don't believe in aliens, not because we have no evidence for them, but because, given the enormously insignificant chances of intelligent life developing on Earth, the chances of life developing on another planet as well, much less close enough to encounter us, would be virtually incalculable. In other words, the existence of aliens is exceedingly improbable based on the evidence we have. There is not, however, any strong evidence against the existence of God. Remember, a lack of evidence for something only counts as evidence against that something if, if it existed, we should expect to see more evidence of it than we do in fact see. For example, the initial period of rapid expansion experienced by the universe after the Big Bang. We have no evidence that this ever took place, and yet we're perfectly justified in believing that it did in fact occur. However, if Santa Claus existed, we should have more evidence of him. There's lots of strong evidence against fantasy creatures, for example. I can scan the world using a satellite and prove that there are no hydras in the world. I can search Ireland with a team of experts and prove that there are no leprechauns, because these are things which, if they existed, we should expect to find some physical evidence of. Therefore, in this case, the lack of evidence which should be there is evidence against their existence. However, the same can't be said for God, who by his nature is non-physical, non-spatial, and non-temporal. Therefore, whether God exists or doesn't exist, we won't be able to find evidence of him in the physical, spatial, or temporal realms greater than what we've already found. Next, is belief in atheism liberating? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.